So the Miami Dolphins, we have three picks in the first round. Everybody's putting videos up, speculating this, speculating that, saying we're going to do this. People said we're going to take Herbert. People are going to say we take Tua. People are even saying that we're going to take an offensive line, offensive tackle. You know what I mean? Um, but here's my theory. I'm going to put it out there just like everybody else. And I am going to get on that bandwagon for Tua because that's what I'm about. But I'm not just saying it because everybody else is saying it. My reasoning behind this thought is that Stephen Ross, the man who owns the Miami Dolphins, is going to be turning 80 years old in a couple of weeks, May 10th. This may be his last go around, man. This dude wants to win. And if, my, if you ask me, there's only one kid outside of Joe Burrow that's going to give us a shot to do that, and that's Tua Tungvaloa. That kid out of Alabama, that gunslinger, left-handed, Drew Brees is what people are trying to put on this kid. That dude is the answer. We're going to solidify that offensive line. Uh, he may not play at all this year. He may jump in and, and play half a year, depending on how Ryan Fitzpatrick puts us up there. I love Fitzmagic. But, man, I'm excited to see what Tua is going to do for this franchise. So, yeah, man, we got three picks. Got five, 18, and 26. I hope we hold on to all of them. You know what I mean? Just for the first round tonight, I'm super excited. Normally, I would be at the stadium, at the Hard Rock Stadium down there for tonight. What a party, man. If you've never been, it's so good. It's so fun. They have games on the field. They have food. They've got legends walking around, and you can get your picture taken with them and come and meet and greets. All that stuff. That's done because of this virus. But we're still here. We're still going to be in it tonight. Everybody's excited. Everybody's putting their two cents in on this draft. I've been looking at this draft for, man, weeks and weeks and weeks because, A, there's nothing else on, but, B, this could potentially change this franchise. I've been a fan forever, ever, ever. I remember all the bum quarterbacks drafted, the Hennies, the John Becks, the Pat Whites, you know what I mean? All these, the, the trades from Joy Harrington. That's why, Joy Harrington is the reason why I don't want any quarterback from Oregon or Deion Jordan. I was there for that, man, kill me. I'll never forget when we drafted Ted Ginn, when Revis was sitting right there. Drove me bananas. So, Fins, do not let me down. Draft Tua. Just do it for the fans, man. You know what I mean? We want this. Please. Fins up, baby.